G'day, this is a Show Me action camera. Got this a few days ago, and yes, I have taken the plastic protective film off it since. I know that was disturbing a few people. I've taken a few test uh, stills and video, and uh, it looks really, really good. One feature this camera has is 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Uh, now, the reason for that is so you can connect to your uh, smartphone using an app to control it and set it up, which is great. But if you're a uh, radio-controlled uh, hobbyist, that uses 2.4 gigs for your control frequency, you might be a little bit concerned about will the 2.4 gigs in this affect the radio control? Because the last thing you want is a 2.4 gig transmitter in this really close to your 2.4 gig control receiver. What would happen is that you could degrade the performance of your receiver and thereby reduce your range significantly. Now it would make sense for a manufacturer of a camera like this to be able to completely turn off the Wi-Fi in a battery device to uh, to prolong your, your battery use. So we're going to put that to the test today. I've got a spectrum analyzer on the bench here. We're going to sweep it across the Wi-Fi band. So we're going to start our sweep at 2.41 gigahertz and we'll stop the sweep at 2.48 gigs. The Sense antenna is just a normal Wi-Fi router dipole. Okay, so let's turn the camera on. Like so. Just have to wait a few seconds I've found before you can turn the enable the Wi-Fi so we'll Press that button, blue LED comes on. Now it takes a few seconds for it to start blinking, which uh, is when you would try and connect it to your smartphone. There it is there, it's blinking. Now as you can see, we're starting to pick up signal on the various uh, Wi-Fi channels. So whilst that LED is flashing, it's uh, transmitting on 2.4 gigs as you can see. Now if I press the button again to try and disable that, oh there we go, the uh, signal's gone. So there you go, you can be reasonably confident when the LED is not flashing, it's not putting out any 2.4 gig uh, signal.